Today it's Dad versus me, and it's gonna be trying to rebuild oh, people Manchester to do it. United. So we go. Yeah, quite fun. Not gonna be easy. No, and obviously we've picked my team. You've already done one rebuild, which yeah. I assisted you with, which was the Spurs rebuild. Now, and you guys love that one, and a lot of you have said, why don't you do one against each other? Now, it's going to be very difficult, and what you will see is our facial hair changing, our clothes changing, because we're not <laughs> going to be able to do it all in no, one I day. No, time to do it all in one go. Away. No, so obviously with Dad not living with me, we're going to have to do it across the space of different weekends. God knows how long it's going to take us to do, but as a thank you, if you could smash a like and leave a lovely comment, Comment for the YouTube algorithm. I'd appreciate it if you haven't subscribed. Please make sure you do. So, how we're going to do this. Obviously, I've got to help Dad because he doesn't really know all the buttons and everything of playing football manager. He knows what he wants to do with Manchester United. It's just a case of really, I'm just asking Luke what I can do. He's telling me what I can do. Then I'm, I'm having goals at finding players, signing players, and selling players. Show him your list. <laughs> Show him your, he came down with a list. Of all the players he wanted to sign, his shortlist and everything like that. He's done a lot of research yeah, into it. Yeah. That's how we're doing it. And then I'm going to do my side of the rebuild separately. And we'll react to it season by season for each of us. And then at the end, obviously, we can determine, right, who who we think is the winner by who's done better. Yeah. Who made it five years? I'm, who survived? I'm going to say... It's my first time to take manual notice. So I just as long as I don't get sacked, I think it's a, a result. Yeah. So let's take other transfers that you did make. Now yeah. we had a lot of offers coming in in the final uh, final day of the the season, and you spent all of your budget, yeah. which is first not season, a lot. To yeah. Begin with. So the first season was very hard. I think it's. Yeah. Like, I'm hoping not to get sacked the first season. I'm trying to set myself up for the second season. We'll but see. We've only done a, one rebuild yeah. with Man United yeah. first, and I got sacked on yeah. it. Uh, so on the outs, we did sell. We didn't sell people, did we? We, well, we sold Tom Heaton, yeah. uh, but you loaned out a couple of players who will be sold. Yeah. Victor Lindelof, Scott McTominay, Anthony Martial. All of them with mandatory future fees at the end of it, which gave us a little bit of money uh, to spend on players. So who you brought in, first off, is a little bit controversial. Actually, this is very controversial because he's gone back to the well of what he did at Tottenham. You signed Kepa, the goalkeeper from Chelsea, as your first goalkeeper. Well, I had a list of four keepers to I put in the price and he, he was the main one that I could afford. Yeah. So that hence why I did go for him, really. Uh, so you signed for £12.5 million. And I've made him my number, number one. one. Yeah. And then your other sign-in, as I mentioned, gone back to the well. It's Tammy This Abraham. was a last minute sign in with the money that I had available at the time. Yeah. And I knew I needed a striker. Yeah. Um, I just wanted someone else to be up front, an out and out striker. He was the one I could afford again, the best one I could afford. And as it happened, it just happened to be the same one as I'm with the Spurs. Yeah. But uh, I got him. And, and I'm chuffed a bit to get him, actually. I didn't think I'd get him this, this early. No, he hasn't played a game yet because we literally signed him on deadline day. It's yeah. the 2nd of September here. We signed him £48.5 million, which was a cross installments for Tammy Abraham from Roma. So that's the two sign-ins. Now, the tactic that we've ended up with is not the tactic that Dad played throughout pre-season or the the first, first few games, games yeah. because Five you're going to see probably the reason why he's had to change <laughs> to this tactic. Uh, but what we do have right now, Dad, talk us through it very quickly. Well, obviously, I've kept my goalkeeper. I wanted him to be my first first choice keeper. And I've gone for four defenders. Casemiro, and I've kept made sure he's playing as right in front of my um, defenders. Then I want to play a, a, a three across the midfield with the two wing backs going up the wings. And I want to play an attacking midfielder, which would probably be Fernando. And then Abraham up top. Bruno Fernandez. Oh, Fernandez, sorry. Yeah. yeah. And then Tammy Abraham, of course, up top. I've tried a couple of things with certain players in certain positions and it just hasn't worked or whatever. No. Um, Rashford being up front on his own didn't work. First game it did. I beat Spurs. Yeah. <laughs> they won a game since. <laughs> so, schedule wise, as we mentioned, we beat Spurs 6 4 yeah. in that game. Very entertaining game at Old Trafford. Would love to have seen that. But then it was two 0 0 draws. Two great games for Kepper. Yeah. Uh, 7.3 in both of those games there but against Liverpool as well so you think that's not a bad result I was, I was, was, I was happy up to there I thought uh, about the Spur, uh, Sarabden game and I thought yeah. oh, but the, the draw against Leeds. Liverpool take that but then that was the one that killed me at Ellen Road yeah. uh, and then a loss to Leicester yeah. unfortunately Pat's and I've got a again, real right? real big game coming up now and that's why I've changed my tactic now. Man City is next yeah. right so before we see what I do in my first season we're going to simulate Dad's season first let's see how he does <laughs> Well, <laughs> that's a poor start to your campaign as yeah, uh, United manager. Eighth place. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, I start of the season. I didn't have a very good start of the season at all. As you can see by that league positioning table up there, I, was, I went quite low in the league and just started pulling it back. Yeah, as the you're season down was to going. Fifteenth. Yeah, and I, was, I must admit, I, I, I thought I was going to get sacked at the time. But you were in the top four at one stage. Yeah, you yeah, pulled it back. I went on a the good run. Four. Uh, and then just sort of dropped off down to eighth there, yeah. place. I mean, I think your only saving grace is that like Chelsea finished low, yeah. <laughs> lower than you, so it doesn't look as bad. But that is very poor. We can we can take a look at the league here. So you actually, oh, hello, hello, hello. Does that mean it does? I think it does. Marcus Rashford, had twenty-one goals, is your top yeah. scorer, but oh, it's against Frankfurt as well. <laughs> hey, you know what that means as well, don't you? What? I'm in the Champions League. Yeah, that's what that meant. <laughs> UEFA Champions League. Oh, sorry, League. yeah. I yeah. Just, we were just thinking that we won something, didn't we? You have won the Europa League. Against Extra Frankfurt. time against Frankfurt. Get in. Right, okay. Who That would have been back to back for Frankfurt as yeah. well. They won it the season before, didn't they? Jane Sancho got sent off in the Ooh, 91st come minute. On. Lissandro Martinez, Leche. What a player he is. Yeah. I absolutely love him. Uh, but Marcus Rashford missed the penalty in the 59th to get it done in the original 90. Come on, Marcos. But there we go. Right. So, I'll take that. Yeah, that was a bad league position, but we stayed in the Champions League, so that helps me out, really. Carabao Cup, you had a semi final, final finish. Yeah, knocked out by Liverpool. Did Faced they win it? Norwich in the final. Did they win it? They must have uh, won it, yeah, sure. Are you going to play Norwich? Yeah. Oh, oh. Wow. Whoa. Timo Puki, look. <laughs> what a player. So that was like. That was two semi-finalists from the championship there. Yeah. Okay, who was getting your goals then? You have 40 goals from Marcus Rashford, 25 from Tammy Abraham. That's not as much as what I was expecting from Tammy, although I've, that is a game in every goal every other game. I would have put it the other way around. I thought it would have been the other way around. Yeah, but, I um, agree. Um, Bruno got yourself 12 assists. Yeah. There was the top assist there. He was. So Christian Eriksen on 11. Jane Sancho and Ante both got 10. Well, how much money did you have to spend? £63 million pound with 192k. I it's not a, a lot. lot. But for a bit more than that. No. Well, there's no Qatari money here. Yeah, um, I need a little bit of rebuilding here, don't I? I think. Yeah, definitely. Let's yeah. see what we can do. Let's see what you can do. Yeah. I ain't doing you shit. <laughs> So the pressure is on. Although you did finish in eighth place, yeah. that's bad. Your Europa League win means you managed to secure your hey, job a little bit more. I got a cup in the bag already, mate. You got a cup in the bag. <laughs> right, I'll give you that. Now, transfer-wise, I made one move and that was it. I brought in a striker because I think that is the one position Manchester United really need in right now. I didn't really get to do a lot in this transfer window at all, to be honest. So it's a little bit disappointing. But I brought in Gonzalo Ramos, uh, young Portuguese. Quite a realistic transfer as well, I think they're actually scouting him in real life very good for Benfica this season he's been fantastic in real life he scored two goals in five games for me already he cost me 30 million pound how are we lining up though well my first year tactic is a little bit strange it's kind of a 4-3-3 but instead of having a second center midfielder here I've got another winger and instead I've got an inverted wing back which will hopefully run through this little gap here with Diego Dalo. now we've seen Trent actually doing something like that haven't yeah. we in real life that's kind of the thing that he's doing Wait, he does the run through, doesn't he? But then don't he come does, back. He doesn't come back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I want Martinez playing every single game here and not at left Ooh. back where you like him. Yeah. Gonzalo Ramos, I went in playing every single game up front, and James Sancho every game on the wing here. And obviously we've got the likes of Anthony, Anthony in yeah. front, Ericsson who can also play there, Sabitzer, etc., etc. Now kicking things off, it's been a little bit ropey. I've beat all the good teams and I've lost against Southampton <laughs> and Brentford, <laughs> one nils as well. But I beat Chelsea three 0 my opening day. Rafa Varane got two goals to me. Tottenham, I beat them as well. Nice little win against Tottenham, despite actually going behind in the third minute. Uh, and then I stuffed Brighton five nil. That's a good result. Yeah, Rafa Varane got a hat trick. So Ooh. insane. I think. Brighton are always terrible on Football Manager when they are being run by the uh, by the computer. Yeah. When I run them, you know what happens. Yeah. Watch the series. But there we go. So our Champions League group is a little different to yours as well, of course. We've got CFR Kluge, uh, Zurich and Paulsen should go through and win that. Would like to win it, obviously, the whole thing because that's what you've done. But let's find out. Yep. Well, my first season was a lot better than yours in the league. 
Amazing. Yeah, finishing in third place, which, to be honest, is where I'd expect United which to Which is finish. interesting, really, because that means you're in the Champions League and I was in, I'm in the Champions League because I, I won the Europa League. Yeah, so which you keep bragging about. <laughs> There's a long way to go in this. All right, Friedman, all right. I've got to take advantage of what I can. Uh, in mine, though, Everton got relegated, Ooh. which I thought was quite strange, to be fair. No top goal scorers. We did have Christian Eriksen now on 13 assists, Bruno on 12. Who's the leading goal got, scorer, look. Yeah, I know. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> Even Tony. But we got David De Gea with the most clean sheets, which that does surprise me, considering yeah. I had a big gaping hole in my midfield. Yeah. But I think the tactic did kind of work a little bit on how I wanted it to. But we're all waiting. Come on, how did I do? Mm. Oh, this is so close. So close. <laughs> At least you got to the final, man. Yeah, I got to the final. So um, we both got to the final in our first season. Yeah, not bad at all, really, is it? <laughs> nope. I was beat by Arsenal. So, I mean, we so. faced two rather linking clubs in these yeah. finals. Didn't we? You beat Eintracht Frankfurt. I lost to Arsenal. So, 2 0, unfortunately. Thomas Party and Jorginho with the goals. That's so annoying that I was hate that it. close. I hate it when you lose to a team that's in your country as well. Yeah. It's nothing worse, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, that's disappointing. But I got knocked down the fifth round by Everton, quarter final of the Carabao Cup by Man City. So, my top scorer, Dad, was Rafa Varane. <laughs> <laughs> you got 26. It always reminds me of when uh, Plymouth fans, Plymouth Argyle fans, yeah. when Graham Coughlin yeah. uh, was a top scorer when we won the League 2. Or well, League 1. That was one. brilliant yeah. that season, wasn't it? Mental. He'd just come up for any, any corner and, and free kicks and, that, and just the got them all there. Yeah. Uh, Gonzalo Ramos, a bit disappointed for me. Only 23 goals. We did have a lot of assists from the likes of Ericsson and James Sancho. So I don't know whether I will stick to this tactic. Maybe I'll tweak it a little bit because I want more goals, really, from my striker who's playing every single game. However, I've only got about £70 million. Pounds so I don't know can't really remember your no, budget kinda. but 76 million pound before we take a look at dad's second season today's video sponsor is because I've got a brand new PC and you all need to see it <laughs> My old PC was starting to struggle with all the demands I require for both my channels It was time for an upgrade and there was only one place I wanted to go PC specialist and before I show you my own custom build from PC Specialist, let me tell you a little bit about them. PC Specialists are one of the leading custom PC manufacturers in Europe, specializing in gaming PCs, laptops, workstations, and more. So maybe you're seeking a new laptop for FM and other games, PC Specialist is still your best option. That's because they focus on building high performance systems for gamers especially, but also for enthusiasts, content creators like myself and professionals. And when PC Specialist and myself partnered up, the next part was the most fun part. Using PC Specialist's easy to use configurator, I built my own custom PC. Now, of course, I will leave a link in the description and the comments section. This is where you implement all your desired parts to customize your unique build to fit your budget. Every time you select a part, it will update the price so you can efficiently work out how to get the highest performing build you can afford. And the variations available are fantastic. From Intel to AMD, down to the best graphic cards available. And maybe this is your first PC and you're upgrading from a laptop. You can even get your peripherals and accessories like monitors, a keyboard and a mouse. These are my exact specifications for the build. I went with a Ryzen 9 with 64 gigabytes of RAM and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 graphics card. A huge upgrade from my previous PC and I was absolutely shocked at how good the price was for such a powerful system. And then it arrived. It is absolutely beautiful as you can see and each PC is meticulously cabled managed to ensure neatness and it is tested to ensure stability and performance. So if you are maybe curious or you are indeed looking for an upgrade, head to the PC Specialist website using the link I have provided in the description or in the pinned comment below. Have fun creating your new build and you can also use my promo code OMEGA for a cheeky £30 discount off your next order. Up until the end of July, you're welcome and thank you very much once again to PC PC specialist for providing me with this absolute beast. Okay, so we've had a very busy transfer window. A lot of players out. Let's start off with some of them. Scott McTominay left, twenty-two million pound. That was part of their release clause. Yeah, he didn't play very many times to me, so I was just trying to get some money into the kitty. Really, didn't play at all because he was out no. on loan. Malassia was a surprise one for me. Yeah, went to Sociedad for twenty million pound. Quite surprised you wanted to get rid of him. I, I, I wanted to strengthen my defence, but central defence, I wanted to really strengthen, really. Yeah. We also sold Wambasaka on the right-hand side to Fulham. I'm not a good lover of him, to be honest. No. I just think he's very... Um, all right, he's quick, but I just don't think he's good enough. Not good on the ball, is no. he? Uh, he's got better, to be fair, yeah. in the last couple of months with uh, Eric Ten Hag. But the big signing, 
The shock player being sold. You're not going to believe it. As soon as the Club offer captain. came in. Club captain. Bruno Fernandes. Yeah. It was one of them where, if you had asked me before, would the transfer come in? Would I sell him out as F gone? I'd gone, definitely no. But when the offer came in, I thought, that's two good players I could buy there. <laughs> So I sold him. Sorry. I know he's one of your favourites. Club captain. Don't bother me. We're against each other. This I was, is fine. I was just so interested in trying to get a really good centre defender in and possibly another midfield player in. 80 million. Yeah. With a bit of an add-on as yeah. well, I think. It goes up to 96, their potential in, uh, yeah. cost. In, in so it was a lot of money. I could buy two good players for that. So yeah. that's what I was thinking of, really. So let's take a look at the players you did sign then because we started things off with a James Madison purchase. There you go. Purchase. Good, good squad player. In the right position than I wanted it to be the, the, the attacking midfielder as well so that was where I started off really yeah I was really pleased I mean, that, with that you signed him before Bruno Fernandes yeah, offer yeah. came in as well so yeah. you already had intentions for James Madison uh, then you wanted the right back and you went with Fres Nader he yeah. goes to me it was the good right back you signed in your Juve <laughs> rebuild I was like oh yeah there we go So he's only a young one. lad so I was just yeah. thinking of really just getting him in he looked good so it was won a lot of mo well I'll say won a lot it was a quite a bit of money still but um, 26 it's. Uh, I think it was a good boy. Yeah, I mean, he's got an assist already off the yeah. bench in four appearances. Good average rating when he's come on. But there is more centre-back. Paul Torres. This is the way I was going for, yeah. I did yeah. have a look at him beforehand. I mean, there was a few other players I tried to get, weren't there, and they just couldn't afford him. But I think for ma value for money, I think this is a good boy. Yeah, he tried getting the Arsenal centre-back and they were having none of no. it, William Saliba. <laughs> they they laughed us out of the building. Right, but there is two more signings and more money as well. Mason Mount was transfer listed. Yeah. 60 million on add-ons as well. Oh, I, I couldn't turn that down. Mason it's a lot Mount. of money, but good, good, Mason Mount. Good player, I think. Good yeah. English player. Look at the positions he can play as well. And I'm looking to, to be more attacking as well. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, okay. Good deal. Uh, and then Ruben Neves well, signed a day later. Yeah. £110 million for I two I couldn't believe when I, when I seen his age that he was only 26. He's been um, around for ages. ages. And yeah. he is such a good player. So yeah. I thought, right, he's a good player to have. Just sit in that middle and just defend everything and let the other boys do the work up front. Yeah, I remember when he was captain for Porto yeah. at age 18. Quite special player. So, so those I'm are the happy with my field now. I think my midfield's really good. I've got a good attack inside. Put a new goalkeeper in last season. We've done well. So I'm quite happy with this, to be honest with you. I think it's a good squad. Yeah, and you've changed formation. You've yeah. gone for a 4-2-3-1. Yeah. Uh, you were messing around with some things. You're going, oh, I don't fit people in. <laughs> I was sat there thinking, don't help, don't help. And I just went, 4-2-3-1 would be obvious, Dad. You went, that's a good idea, that yeah. is. And it worked, didn't it? Because we give Man City a stuff in it for We you. have. Um, so. We'll take a look at that now. Yeah. So, Tammy Abraham is your main striker. You've got Martinez playing at left back. Not sure and not at left centre back. He is playing left back I do. I game. do class him as a proper left back. I know Man United are playing him as centre back at the moment and he does well. But I think he's a better left back. So, All right, there okay. we go. Fair enough. Schedule-wise, then, let's take a look. So, we started things off with a loss to Chelsea. Yeah, it's been a 93rd minute own goal yeah. and a 95th minute winner from... From Lukaku. That's very disappointing. Mason Mount did score though on his Premier League debut yep. for Man United against the Silk Club. <laughs> uh, we lost the Super Cup to Man City 1-0. But then we got our revenge when we beat them 4-0 at Old Trafford. Not bad at all. Yeah. The only result there that sort of really disappoints me was the Leicester one. Again, even, another even though, 95th yeah, minute. Even though Tammy got a, a, an hat trick there, which I was really pleased. A bit disappointed with that result. But, yeah, um, definitely. But there we then go. Then the next result spoke for itself, 4-0. 4-0, not Against bad at all. Yeah, Your group then, you got Inter Milan, Sporting and Wolfsburg. So you've managed to survive in the Champions League. Well, I'd managed be to very, qualify for the Champions I'd League. I'd be very disappointed if I don't qualify into the knockout stages in that. We'll see. Yeah. Right. Well, let's simulate and see how you do. Well. <laughs> 10 points. You're finishing first place. 10 points clear of Liverpool. I didn't expect that at all. No, I'll, I'll be honest, I didn't know. I mean, considering your first season, down in eighth place, yeah. obviously you qualified for the Champions League. Got to improve, we'll you? give you Got that, improve. you know, you won the Europa League. But Ch Champions? Look Already? My, look at my goal difference as well. 72 goal difference. Last season, your goal difference was 8. <laughs> with 56 points. Now you're up to 89 points. An absolutely insane season. Tammy got you 43. You couldn't get him firing last season. Nope. And remember how much trouble we had pre-season yeah. with your tactic. And how much you tried changing Mr. it. Berman. Hey, look at Mason Mount as well, mate. The top three assisters of the league. Hey, here we go. What we brought him in for? Unbelievable. Hey. I mean, Martinez. how, by the way, how has Lissandra Martinez yeah. got 
12 and a third. And you put him left back. Yeah. So that's a genius Bombing. thing on, on your on Bombing your uh, yeah on your part. I, there. I just think that's where his position is. I think he's a better left back than he is Not a centre. Not in real life, he isn't. Oh, I don't know. Not in real life, he isn't. <laughs> because else we're stuck with Maguire. Come on. <laughs> but all right, my hats off to you. You've done exceptionally well there. That's absolutely what, incredible. What was the five games I lost? Just for it, just for curiosity, then was it Norwich? Norwich. Tottenham, Liverpool get, twice. Liverpool twice. I mean, uh, yeah, not a very good season. Then, no, really, I'm not happy it? with that. Not no, happy with that. You scored a goal against them. No. Uh, and then a, a four-three away loss at Stamford Bridge isn't too bad, really, in all things considered. That's an insane season. You drew five games as well. Both team, well, both Everton games you drew. Leicester, Tottenham. Fancy. You so I lost against Tottenham. Beat Tottenham. Drew against Tottenham. No. Yeah, could not beat Tottenham. Right. So mm, that's favoritism for the road. That's match fixing, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, where did Tottenham finish? Thirteen. I oh, know that was bad, isn't it? <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> West Brom came up. They went straight back down oh, again, well. as they usually do. And Burnley. Other competitions. Oh, no, you, we already seen the Super oh, Cup. The Super Cup, Semi-final yeah. of the FA Cup. Oh. Quarter-final of the Carabao Cup. Only the round of 16 of the Champions League. You got I'm through the group, which is what you yeah. wanted to do. I'm still disappointed, especially losing against them. Yeah, I mean, you lost to Nice, yeah. who, ironically, the owners, is also trying to buy Man United. Yeah, they are, the yeah. As, yeah. We're, as we're recording this. I mean, we don't know how Six, long this five is going to so It was two good games, then, really. Yeah, but that's a game you really should yeah, be winning, yeah, to know. be fair. I'm disappointed. Um, that's probably my biggest disappointment there, really. The group stage, then. You did go through as top into Milan was second place. You both finished with the same uh, amount of points. You beat them three one. You beat Sporting four nil and four uh, two nil, uh, and you lost two games to Wolfsburg and into Milan. So that's the reason why you got through. Your transfer budget for this summer though seventy one million pound with a very good wage budget as well. Let's take a look at the goals and everything before we wrap up and start your next preseason. Good in, Tammy. 52 goals and 50 appearances, 26 for Marcus Rashford, 19 for Mason Mount, 14 for Madison. Or two good English. boys there. Two good boys yeah. there. What? I mean, you think five English players there? They're all your top scorers. Very yeah. rare that happens. Yeah, you know, it is. Dad. Yeah, yeah. Now, I know you're going to be a, quite a fan of that as well. Of like I am. Grown. Yeah, I do. I do prefer playing English players. I mean, that was the reason why I went for Mason Mount and Madison. Yeah. Really, I do like them, and they're English as yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Then, well, let's see what you can do in this next preseason. Oh, wow, I had a big transfer window. I didn't have a lot of money, and I almost didn't wasn't really bothered about spending that much, to be fair. And then I had some big offers come in. So, I did sell Harry Maguire, who I wanted to sell. We were all trying to sell him, weren't yeah. we? Yeah, I also sold Anthony Martial for £15 million as well, both to Atletico and PSG. But the big one that I let go was Bruno Fernandes. I had no intention whatsoever of selling him. I was like, no, 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 rejected from about £60 million upwards. Then they came in with 100 million, and I literally just put in 150, and they already gave me the add ons. 150, or else I'm not even interested. And they said, yeah, and I was like, oh. Okay. Gotta take and I thought it. I've got to take it. Yeah, because, you got to take you know, it. Yeah. He's, he's 28. I, I, that's a lot of money to replace a lot of players. So it's, it's probably the one player that in that team. Well, there's two players in that team. Now I reckon you wouldn't have sold, and he was one of them. Yeah, yeah. I was very. I, was, I wasn't. Yeah. I had no intention of, of selling him whatsoever. And then that came in. And I thought, okay, I'll have to. So to replace him, Dad, I brought in Federico Valverde, Real Madrid's uh, Uruguayan midfielder. I yeah. think he's fantastic. What I like about him is he can literally play in so many different positions and still win man of the match. That's yeah. What I really like about him. Uh, and he's very similar on the game as well. There's not very many weaknesses he has on the game. And I like that. His pace acceleration is phenomenal. But I only paid £83 million for him, which I think <laughs> is, is a steal <laughs> considering I sold Bruno for £150. Yeah, so for yeah. pretty much double the price. Uh, so not bad at all for Federico Valverde. I also managed to get in Conrad Lima on a free transfer. I really like this player. I really hope Manchester United make a move Look for that. Look at the positions he can play in. Exactly that. one of those roles again. I actually signed him with a, with a thinking of maybe putting him right back Ooh. because obviously he's a centre mid and with yeah. the tactic I'm running that's yeah, the right back yeah, yeah. is a centre mid coming from, yeah. but then I didn't because I signed Vanderson who honestly like our on the day that we're recording this has literally just come out that Man United is interested in signing him right. and I thought that's so weird, weird yeah. that that always happens so it might have like even happened by the time this comes out but Vanderson I signed him for th £30 million it's the first signing I actually made because I thought I need to replace a better right back well I already had Conrad Lima signed but he doesn't join the club because of the contract situation I also got Marcel Sabitza I made that deal permanent oh, yeah. I thought that would be a good deal to make £17 million uh, and then the money obviously came and that's when I went for Valverde and then I just decided, well, uh, I, 
can start improving other areas of the pitch. So I went and got Mark Gerhai uh, in August as well. So I thought this is a good one for the future to sort of like play around with. Uh, now that I've got rid of Maguire, he can fill in as well as Varane. £40 million pound from Crystal Palace. Thought that was a good signing. And then I replaced the goalkeeper with Diego Costa. Really good goalkeeper on this game. Great kicking, good passing, good at his feet. And that's exactly what Manchester United are looking for. That's probably what I would go for in Diego Costa, who I didn't know was part Switzerland. Who knew? No. But there we go. So tactically, I am running. Oh, you're going to put him right in, eh? Oh, yes. So he goes in there. Uh, and the rest of it, I've changed ever so slightly, as you can see again. Instead yeah. of having that right midfielder, we've got a Mazala who will naturally go out to the right. But instead of having two right midfielders out there, I've got an advanced playmaker. And that is simply because Christian Eriksen... Uh, better suited to be fair there and I've got a lot of midfielders now so that gives us better options there and then the Vanderson then becomes pretty much just a, a bombing fullback uh, and everything else kind of stays the same but this this role's pushed up further forward as well yeah so it is slightly different but very much similarities to our first season tactic and so far it has not been very good for me at all uh, we beat palace 4-0 in the league which is great after just stealing the center back then we lost to tottenham i know uh, beat Sam Abden, which I couldn't do last time. It was all the way around last <laughs> yeah. time. And then I beat, then I lost, sorry, to Manchester City 4 1. And I thought, oh, this is not going to be good. Um, our Champions League group into Milan, Celtic, and Red Star. So that's not bad. No, you'd be Should disappointed be if you don't qualify, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we know that your second season was a first place finish in the league so no pressure whatsoever but only the round of 16 in the champions league. hey so i think the only way i can actually two, outdo you two seasons won the league won the europa league the only way the, you didn't let me finish the only way i can outdo you is if i win the champions league this season yes if not you're winning this race yes so let's see how i do oh, okay so i'm second place in the league so what was that didn't quite beat you there. So we are That's 83 closest. points, nine points behind Liverpool, who had a, a fantastic season, to be fair to them. Yeah, Arsenal finishing in third, Man City in fourth. That's unfortunate. But if I win the Champions League, I think that I'm still winning this race. And did I do it? No. Semi-final Semi by Manchester oh, Man City. City. Yeah, we were only talking about how it's really yeah. annoying. Uh, and it was actually an all-English final. Three, three teams were in the semi-final of England. Yeah, yeah that's good, isn't it? where Man City won it. Uh, Real Madrid won it the season before. Man City won it this time, beating Liverpool 3-0 in the final. So even though Liverpool won the Premier League, they lost in the Champions League final 3-0. Bit of a hammer in there. Fifth round by Tottenham in the FA Cup. Quarter final by Nottingham Forest in the Carabao Cup. That's really frustrating. They're funny, so I might not But there we go. They got relegated this season as yeah. well, so that's really disappointing from my point of view. My top scorers though were Marcus Rashford with 28, Gonzalo Ramos, I gave him one more season as a chance as my lone striker and he got 27, which isn't bad to be fair, but he is wanted. I might cash in because PSG like giving me lots of money. Yeah. So we don't know. Jane Sancho also had a good season considering a lot of it he was playing off the it's bench. Quite, it's quite funny really when you think of it how much money PSG are chucking up winning the Champions League and they still can't do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even on FM they can't Facts. do it. Uh, Rafa Varane's had a bad season with only 13 goals yeah. considering he was top scorer yeah. for me last time but there we go 18 million pound going into my third summer window so we'll see how you do in your third summer and your third season and we'll come back to see how i do okay we've done the pre-season for season number three and dad sold casemiro 32 years of age mate yeah but he's still casemiro i know yeah i just felt really for the price that i was offered 37 million for a 32 year old sometimes you just got to take it and hopefully you get a better player or an up-and-coming player or a same player of that statue in that position so well, that's what i try to do I, I try to get another player to put into that position and take the money because of his age you bought in two replacements yeah, for did, him yeah. bruno gimarais from newcastle i do like him yeah he's a great player yeah is he a casemiro type of player Possibly not. You got Nevers as well there, haven't you? So I got the two there. Yeah. And they're both good at doing their job, aren't they? So I'm just thinking whether one goes forward, the other one to stay, and the other one goes forward, and they're both good at going forward as well. They'll both get your goals, but um, I think Bruno was the main one who'll just sit there. I think. Okay. Personally. I mean, yeah. 85 million up front, 94 in potential add-ons. So it's a it's, lot of money. It's going to be a player there for the rest of the time I'm doing it, and for anybody else who takes over my team. Definitely. Uh, and then your mate Hoybier. Yeah. I mean, I. I couldn't believe how much I got him for. We had a sniff around him. We see how much I could get these central defenders for. Yeah. 24 million, I just thought it was a gift. It was annoying, you know, my viewers. So he was up for <laughs> 35, was it? Yeah, he was, yeah. And so Dad went, can you put in a bid for him, please? So I pressed 35. He went, no, for 25. I went, 
Oh, so I pulled out of the deal, <laughs> skipped a day, went to him, and he, they had lowered his price to 24. I thought, that's never happened to me. So dad got him for 24 million pounds. Good, good squad player to fit into that position if one of my boys get injured then, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. At the end of the day, my attacking team, by going by goal average last season, I didn't have to touch. No. All right, I sold my best midfielder with one of my best midfielders. I've replaced him with what I class as one excellent one and one really good squad. So my, yeah. now I'm happy with my midfield. And I, my, my other player that I've signed... I thought I'll just strengthen up my defence, really, because I'm they're getting a little bit old as well, aren't they? Yeah, Varane is 31 now, and we've seen a bit of a decline, didn't yeah, we? Yeah. Um, so you went and signed Caleb Acoli. Now there's a story as to why we signed Caleb Acoli, <laughs> Dad. Uh, not really for footballing purposes, although he's well, a very good player. We looked at two players. They were both the same, weren't they, really? Yeah. And I just couldn't make my mind up which one I was going to go for. One was 21, one was 23, and I was swaying to the 21-year-old from Napoli. And then I just happened to look at his birthday. And his birthday for this guy is the same day as me. So I thought, that's it. There's an old one in it. That's the guy i got to sign. He's the same day as me. Born on the 13th of <laughs> July, just like my father, we have signed Caleb Acoli for that reason more than anything. £58 million. Pound. It's a good deal, to be fair. He's a very good centre-back on the game. Great physical attributes. Yeah, he's going to come. So. He's going to start getting better as well, I think. Yeah. You also sold a couple of youngsters there. You got quite a lot of money for, for two youngsters there that we weren't ever going to use. Yeah. You're keeping the same tactic because you've just won the league why yeah. would you change it uh, and you're securing Abraham and Rashford because when we did a quick pick 11 it put Rashford at top and Abraham was on the bench so yeah. dad wants to make sure that is his starting line well, he, every single game he won the golden boot didn't he last he season did, so yeah, why would, in why, Europe as well why would I put him anywhere else exactly so let's take a look at your schedule then you've played in the community shield you beat Chelsea 3-1 yes it's a good start you then defeated Brighton 4-1 yeah good start as well with Bruno Gamarais getting uh, a goal in that one but then unfortunately you lost yeah. at this is, where I'm, this is where I'm a bit worried because I've come up against two top teams Liverpool and Man City and lost both games and conceded, and conceded four. four goals in both games as well yeah. yeah but you did beat Norwich 2-0 after that one with a slightly yeah. rotated team and then beat Villa after the Manchester City game in the I mean winning the league game. again for the second time in a row is going to be the hardest challenge for me I think so yeah. I'm looking at I want to I want to improve in Europe that's why I've strengthened my defence strengthened my midfield again so I'm hoping I'll improve a little bit better in Europe get a little bit better there and stay in the top four yeah so that's my challenge really to myself uh, so you're now in the new league phase of the Champions League and these are your fixtures so this is the first time you actually see in this to be fair yeah uh, but Milan and Celtic the last two games I always look I always look at the last two because yeah, yeah. that's always the yeah, decider do, yeah. usually isn't it but odds I mean I'm Sevilla looking at that should be beating them um, Bayern Munich it's possibly my hardest game. Yeah. I think I played them in a friendly and I think I drew two each against them. So yeah. we know what it's all about already. Then we draw it, yeah, two each. Two each. I mean, look at Sam Doyle beating Sam Doyle 11 0. I mean, it's a bit silly, really, I think. Yeah. But um, I'll take that anyway. So yeah, I, I, I'm quite confident with that. All know, right then. Yeah. Let's simulate the third season and see how Dad gets on. So your third season has ended in a third place finish. Well, I, I wanted to finish the top four. I've got that. Bit disappointed. <laughs> Did you expect to be behind Spurs? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's Eric Ten Hag who's the manager, which is quite funny, obviously. Yeah. That's hilarious that you took his job. He's gone to Spurs and yeah. beat you in the top in the top four race. Uh, four points. I mean, it all depends. Him. If I've won something else, like in a Europe competition, I'd be really happy. But yeah. you know, Tammy's had win, the best season for the goals. Thirty-five. Well, go. He's also up there for the highest average rating with Mason. That Mount. was why I locked him in that position. I'll be silly to, not to have done that. Really. Yeah. Well, right? uh, uh, Tony Cruz is at Liverpool, by the way. He's got the most assists for the league. Okay, you mentioned other competitions then. You mentioned how you wanted to do better in Europe. Obviously, you love the FA Cup. That will be a great yeah. win for you. How did you do? None Nothing. of them. Oh. Uh, you got to the quarterfinals of the Champions League, knocked out by Internazionale in the quarters. So I've done better then. I've yeah. got to the quarterfinals, so... 5-4 in aggregate, you lost in that one. The final was won by Bayern Munich after extra time they defeated in there. Yeah. So, yeah, you were knocked out by the winners. You also knocked out Man City, so they went 2-2 two for two against the Manchester clubs yeah. there. In the other round, quarterfinal of the FA Cup Liverpool. by Liverpool. That's quite frustrating. They obviously, they went they on went and on won one. it. Uh, and then fourth round of the Carabao by Brentford. I mean, it is, it is a cup that no one you know, well, no about it, yeah. I'll take I'll, I'll take a win in a cup yeah everybody wants to go to a cup final definitely so I'm okay. disappointed with that so your squad you got 49 goals from 50 games from Tammy you got yeah. 27 goals and 21 assists from Marcus Rashford really happy with that as well yeah those are the two that you secured in the position there are also two players that are wanted we can oh. see there by Real Madrid both times they and Tottenham 
They will be going anywhere. No, okay. I mean, look at Mason Mount as well. Like 19 goals. 19 goals. Yeah, and I think he had that, the we? highest average rating. He did. He had the highest average rating for the season. I mean, Slightly unhappy. He wants a new contract. I'll give it to him. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, going to have to, I think. Yeah, of course you do. Jane Sancho there with the fourth highest uh, average rating. Good amount of goals and assists this season so, as well. Like I said in the, in the uh, before the season started, my front line was just lethal. Yeah. I, I didn't want to change that. No. And I ain't going to change it. So. We'll see then, because transfer-wise, you've only got £40 million with not that much of a wage budget either. So, let's see what you can do yeah. in this fourth pre-season. That's going to be hard, isn't it? Mm. In the third summer season, the likes of De Gea left the club. We've also got Scott McTominay leaving. He was a loan to, to buy an uh, option from Brighton there. Juan Masaka left, because I've got about three right-backs now. Uh... Fernandez, I sold for quite a lot of money as well. Palestri, I got rid of a lot of the youngsters that I think would never it's quite, make it. I tell you what is quite interesting as well is where it looks like we've come into the manual of the team and started just getting rid of the same sort of players, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they're the obvious choices well, to get rid of. The age of, comes they? into it as well, but yeah, definitely. there is a few players that you'd think. It was, it was it was the point where it's like, I know this is a competition against my dad. I need to sell anybody I have no intention <laughs> of using. So the likes of Palestri and Aronson and Fernandez, who maybe if I was doing a series with Man United, I'd probably keep just in yeah. case. Yeah. They were like, like, no, see you later, son. Yeah. Uh, but my first sign-in... Well, I was ruthless, wasn't I? Yeah, you was. Yeah, you were really bad. Uh, Benjamin Sesko was my first sign-in. Now, this guy is a monster. And I picked him up after only one season at Leipzig. He only got 11 goals, but I picked him up for £75 million. Pound. I've oh, seen four how goals good he is. in five games already. Yeah, those physical attributes are insane. Very good off the ball. Exactly what I need for my side. And I, my scouts and my coaches rate him very well. highly. Oh, yeah. He is one for the future, for yeah. sure. But I've also brought in another striker because... You might see the reason why. Vitor Roque, Brazilian, very good player, only £19 million. I thought, why not take a gamble? I had yeah. the money there. There's yeah. not many players that you can get for the first team for around about that cost. He could be one that slots in every time we don't have uh, an option like Benjamin Sesco. But Manuel Ugate, so I signed Valverde last season, who was Uruguayan. Now I've got Ugate, who's also Uruguayan. So they've gone to Edison Cavani and gone, what do you think of me signing for Man United? Do you think it's a good club? And he's yeah. gone, absolutely. Yeah. Sign. And uh, both of them have both come to me. So Ugate is very good as well. He comes from Sporting, £52 million. Whenever we need a good player, we always seem to go to Sporting and be yeah. like, who have you got for us? We'll yeah. take him. There he is. Manuel Ugate has signed £52 million. So those are my sign-ins this season in my third summer. The transfers we can see here, the tactics, sorry, I've gone slightly back to where I was the first season. But instead of having another player here, I pop, popped him up top. Yeah. So it's very similar. A couple of different player roles. Very attacking, so I think that is. Very attacking. Yeah. This role here, very interested to see what happens there with Vanderson. But I've got two strikers now because I have got about four or five players you can play up there. Gonzalo Ramos, Benjamin Sesco. Rashford, who likes to play on the wing quite often, to be fair. Anthony and Vito Roque can all play up front, so I've got options up there now that I can possibly use should I wish to. Schedule-wise, it's been a lot better for me. Ooh. I've had some patchy seasons so far. If you remember rightly, my first two seasons was full of win-loss, win-loss in both years. This one, only one draw. That was to Tottenham, unfortunately, after 88th minute Pedro Porro equaliser, but a 6-0 against Brighton, 2-0 against Fulham, 1-0 against Leeds, and a 4-0 against Newcastle. That's I'm barely result, conceding goals. They're an hard side to beat Newcastle, though, isn't they? Very. <laughs> Very hard side to beat. Yes, they are, Dad. <laughs> the Spurs fan who were 5-0 down after 22 <laughs> minutes. Everybody was on Twitter oh, asking no, me what yeah, I... Yeah. I just had constant messages. Well, what you text, did your dad think? You text me a couple of times. They all want to know how you're yeah. feeling. <laughs> oh, it was hilarious. <laughs> Not right. Well, right. I think it was on the 70th minute I decided to go out, so yeah. I went out. <laughs> <laughs> My Champions League fixtures are a little bit more difficult. Atletico Madrid, Porto, Bayern, Inter, they're hard. But yep. we'll see how we go. Let's see how I get on in my third season. I won the league. So, if you think Seven about points. it, you finished third that first season. Eighth place in the Europa League. Oh. <laughs> you were saying it's a successful season. If that happened in real life, I'd be like, oh, bloody hell, that was awful. A first place after right. two top four finishes. I think we're on level ground now. Well, we're not. Well, we really. I, I think we are. 
we, we've both won the Premier League, but I have won something else. Okay, but you also so finished I'm, in I'm eighth. still one up at the moment, though. You also finished in eighth. Well, I, still, I, still I know won, as a Tottenham I fan, you think something. eighth is a good thing. I still won something, though, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Benjamin Sesco scored 27 goals, but Gonzalo Ramos had the highest average rating with 13 assists. James Sancho got 19 assists. I've had a very good season here indeed as manager of Manchester United. What could make it even better is another trophy. Oh. Runners up of the Carabao Cup quarter final exit of the Champions League. By Remember, Liverpool, another English side. That's the same as where you got to. Yeah. But you were eliminated by Inter Milan. I was eliminated by Liverpool there. And I also got to the quarter final of Tottenham. You just seemed to hate me in the FA Cup, by the way. <laughs> uh, that quarter final was eliminated and Liverpool went on and won it. They beat Arsenal. Ooh. So it was another all English final yeah. there being played in Munich. I want to know who won the FA Cup though. That was also won by Liverpool. So I stopped them from doing the treble. Who, who beat you in the cup final then? The cup final, I lost to Arsenal. So a bit of revenge there from, yeah. uh, from Arsenal. Well, actually no, they beat me in the Europa League final. So yeah, no revenge there. Just devastating for me. The goals though was a lot better because 38 came from Sesco, 31 came from Gonzalo Ramos with 20 assists, 26 from Rashford, 22 from Vitor Roque, 22 from Varane and 12 from Jane Sancho. That is a huge amount of goals. Yeah. That is a lot of goals being scored from just those six players there. I'm very happy with that and a lot of assists as well from each of them. So my tactic is very attacking. Oh, spot on. I love it. Yeah. Spot on. Okay. My transfer budget is low as tits and I don't know why. Why? Why is that, man? I have no idea. So my finances are a bit in the mud. Maybe that's something to do with it. Uh, but we've just won the Premier League and you're only giving me that yeah, amount of money. Yeah, that's not on, is it? So Come I'm a little on. bit fuming. I bet season six would be absolutely loads. <laughs> Remember, Patreon members on the £5 tier, you'll get access to not only my rebuild, but Dad's rebuild as well. Maybe you can put them up against each other or you just want to have a look at them on the £5 tier uh, on Megaloop Gaming. Have a go with both and let us know how you get on and see if yeah. you can do better than we do. Patreon got patreon.com forward slash Megaloop Gaming. One day I'll get the link right. Okay, on to Dad Season 4. So, some weird transfers on the outs. Yeah. Uh, you raised quite a lot of money. Obviously, you didn't have a lot. Henderson wasn't very happy. Dean Henderson's gone to Rangers. So, I thought, well, I don't really want an unhappy second keeper. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go out and get a, a young lad or something like that. So, I was quite happy for him to go. Aaron Maguire, getting on now. Yeah. No, I'm not. You, I mean, we all know I'm not a happy um, lover of Harry Maguire, sort of. Not for many me, people are. No. So for me, it was a, a done deal. So I would have come in for him. I thought, yeah, get rid of him. Yeah. This one I'm surprised with, Garnacho to Young Boys. Not yeah. because you sold him, but because Young Boys had £35 billion to spend on him. But I, well, when that offer came up, I thought, well, if they're going to give me that type of money for it, I'm going to take it. Yeah, because th it was them and two Premier League clubs, yeah. and they didn't offer nowhere, nowhere near, near it, the same no. amount. Finally, I mean, this well, one was out of the blue, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I was sniffing around a few other players in different positions, and this offer came up, which I thought... For, I don't really want to sell him, but how much they were offering me gave me an idea of someone else I could have gone for. Yeah. So I took a chance and I took the money. Yeah. Now, the reason for that, if we take a look at the signings on the in, first we've got the backup goalkeeper secured in. Jose I was happy with Sam. this. I do like him. Yeah. Uh, good, good keeper in the Premier League, think, yeah. yeah. And he was happy to come and be a second keeper, so yeah. even better. Then we had Lucas Hernandez, which was a centre-back slash left-back option. A, that was the position I was mainly trying to strengthen, wasn't it? So, yeah. In centre defence, so... Good, good player. Got to give him a good price. But then the big one. This was the boy I was after. This was. Duke this Bellingham. was. I tried two seasons. I looked at him at two seasons yeah. tonight, and I just couldn't afford him. And then when Sancho's offer came in, I thought that could just make the offer for Bellingham possible. You wiggled it around. Yeah. Uh, Ninety-eight million pound was a release clause, which has been a release clause for I think from this season here. You were yeah. you were first. I was looking at him. Yeah. Uh, so the last two seasons I was I was fortunate as well because Liverpool were, were Liverpool on his trail as well and they, they were on his trail as well yeah. so I had to get in quick and that was why I took the Sancho money I thought take it get in quick and I got my lad and I'm I am absolutely chuffed with it yeah that's very the, good I mean you look at my front five or six now nearly all British players yeah and what a team that is yeah going very forward good. we are really bad really lethal tactically then we are looking at the same formation of course the same one that you won the league with yeah but we've got Jude Bellingham nailed in this position here Rashford on the left Abraham up top the rest if we were to do pick without restriction best 
11. It is pretty much those positions anyway. We just yeah. want to secure them in. Bruno Guimaraes. We've got Mason Mount, Anthony, Fresneda, Varane, Torres, Martinez, and Aretha Balaga with the likes of Hernandez, Ruben Neves on the bench. So you've got good backups on the bench and everything yeah. like that. Obviously, we've got James Madison, who is transfer listed because you did try and get rid of him. Yes. He wasn't very happy if I remember already. And, and, yeah. and I thought, well, if you're not happy and I'm not playing you, I'll let you go. It could it could give me a big big money for, uh, to go for another player later on. So I'll suck him on there. Yeah. See what happened. Didn't sell him in the end. No, but didn't sell him. No. There's still an nothing, option in the future. Nothing good came in for him. So no. I'm not going to uh, chuck it away. Premier League. So far then, we are very higgled at Pidigo because yeah. we've beaten Brentford 5-0, Leicester 8-1, but then we've lost two away it, games. It was Liverpool and same City. thing again, wasn't it? I, I played two top teams and lost both games again. Yeah. And I, I was a bit worried again. You know, all right, Brentford 5 now you think, yes, get in. Less straight one, you think, oh, we're on a run now. Yeah. And then you come up against the good sides and you're losing it. Just one of those things, isn't it? Your Champions League fixtures are in as well and yeah. I think they're pretty much all winnable. Maybe the Bayern I'd, Munich be the difficult yeah, one. I'd be very disappointed if I don't go through with that group. I agree. You definitely and should be. The last, you look at the last two games, my last two games are at home against two, what I would class is quite comfortable side to beat. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I thought I'd bring this up. Now, Dad really stretched the budget out because he's got <laughs> zero left in the trans budget and he's minus 219,000 there in the wage budget. I thought that would just be uh, something to bring up. But there we go. I'm trying to bankrupt our club here. Okay, we'll simulate this fourth season. How does Dad do? Fourth place finish. You've dropped down a position. I'm still in the Champions League. That's the main, and I'm above Spurs this time. So. Yeah. <laughs> but Man City, there. Look, you know, when I lost that game, I knew it would be quite hard to beat him. Definitely. So you had a bad run at the end as well. Yeah, like I just chopped loss. it away. Look. I mean, I don't think we'd. I would. Oh, I wouldn't have caught Man City anyway. No. So. so a bad result there at the end. Sammy Abraham, 33 goals, still second behind Erling Haaland, but Marcus Rashford had 29. Yeah. That's very high goals tally coming in for two players, yeah. especially with Rashford playing out on the wing. Anthony and Rashford also had 15 assists each, which is the highest joint with Bernardo Silva. Very good there. Very good. I've got record. no problems at all on my front line. I don't no. want to change it. Don't want to buy anybody else for that. So Possibly just okay. defensively. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look then. How did you do in the Come other competitions? On. Have we won anything? <sighs> no, not again. Round of 16 again by Internazionale. Knocked out the fifth round by Crystal Palace and the fourth round by Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough. So who That's went on and won? That Crystal Palace actually won it on one. They beat Man City in the final. Very good from them. Yeah. Uh, the round at 16 0 knocked out. That's a very similar result as well. Yeah. 5 -3. I think it was 5-4 in the in last was, yeah. season. Something like that. But there we go. That's a lot of English that. teams knocked out this round. Liverpool, Newcastle, yourself. Man City and Spurs look like they've gone through. Rangers also knocked Who out. Who went on one of them? Milan final. An all Milan final. Final and AC Milan picked up it's the actually, win. It's um, actually all Milan semi-final this year, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting, yeah. Okay, so at the Santiago Bernabal as well. Right, squad-wise then. Who's playing home? Uh, don't know. <laughs> you had to think about that one, didn't you? I didn't know what you was all about, that's why. <laughs> uh, 43 goals from Tammy Abraham in 55 games. 36 and 19 for Marcus Rashford. Yeah, that's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, and Anthony even getting quite a high amount as well. Yeah. There. Really good stuff. Drew Bellingham on his first year, only five goals and eight assists. Hey, I'll take that. All right, okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, Rashford's quite unhappy as well, unhappy about failing reaching the Champions League latter stages. Rash, so am I, mate. Uh, yeah. You know, join the club. Technically, that's your job to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there we go. So, what do you have to spend? Oh, you've been given a good one, 115 million. Usually at season six, you get that type of yeah. money. We all know Oh, that. So season six, they're going to give me like 250, isn't they? Yeah, for you guys to take over <laughs> both mine and dad's saves. Right, I mean, okay that, then. Where would I strengthen? It's only going to be my defence, and I'm not going to strengthen my forward line. So No. That's what I've got to be looking at. You, you say that every time, then somebody comes in with an offer, and you go, <laughs> you, he does this, he goes, yeah, go on, I'll take that. And I'm like, hey. <laughs> Out of nowhere it is, it really is. Right, okay, we'll see what happens then. In my fourth summer, I sold Gonzalo Ramos. Ooh. Yeah. That's interesting. £70 million. So I made a huge profit yeah. on a player that I don't really think did that well for me, to be honest. No. I was a little bit disappointed with a couple of those seasons. scored a few goals here, though. Yeah, definitely. That last season was good. Yeah. Uh, but I, I thought, I'll cash in when I can because there's a name that popped up on the transfer list of all places that I couldn't believe for the price as well. And I snatched it. And that was Rafael Liao for £36.5 million from my rivals, Man City. 
Ooh. God knows. Yeah. Uh, he only played 23 games last season, only coming off the bench six times and starting 17. So they didn't really favor him. I favored him because he's phenomenal. I really like him. So I brought him uh, straight away thinking that you're going to be a first team player and Gonzalo Ramos can leave if he wants. I also made 30 million pound off Shola Shoratire. And I also signed another midfielder in Alex Scott from Bristol City. As we know it, he had already made a move in this to Burnley who got relegated. So I I signed him uh, for 36.5 million pound uh, very good center midfielder can play in naturally three different positions through the midfield and on the right which is three positions that yeah. I've been using yeah uh, so I think it's a great addition plus he's English of course so it helps with the uh, the non-EU side of things for for signing players the homegrown side of things that you have to register players for uh, and he didn't even want that high of a wage as well which no, is good, another yeah. attraction to me yeah uh, because the wages were getting ridiculous so those are the signings that I made I think they were very good signings and tactically we're going with exactly the same as what we did season three because it won me the league and yeah. I think we You'd be to silly to come away from that. I agree. And schedule-wise, it's done quite well for me again. Now, I did lose to Liverpool on penalties, but they scored in the 93rd minute for a penalty themselves to equalise, to take it to extra time, and it's only the Community Shield. I'm not that bothered by it. I did go and beat Spurs. Well, you beat right Spurs this time. <laughs> yeah, 3-2. <laughs> I then also beat Chelsea 3-2, which was a nice little win as well. Then a 6-0 win against Stoke, and a 0-0 draw against Brighton, who I think I've played in the first part of the season, yeah. or four years so far. But there we go. Usually Amram. Yeah. Now, I haven't been given my Champions League fixtures just yet, but I'd quite like to get to that at least semi-final position because remember, we've done your fourth season. We know that you finished in fourth and only got to the round of 16. Yeah. Now, yes, you have won one more trophy than me, but I think if I outdo you in this well, season I'll, I'll here... I'll be honest, I was disappointed with that season, really. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was pushing for the Champions League, really, when I... Yeah, yeah. And um, I was a bit disappointed, really, but hey, yo, that's the way it goes, isn't it? Got caught that's short. A good, that's some good signings, but... There we go. Let's see how I do in season number four. In my season number four, I am the league champion again. 20 points. By 20 points. I mean, even if, like, I had a bad season, I probably could have won the league year. Yeah. Because 71 I mean, your, points is very low now. Your goal average has done it for you as well. So you're striking force that you've got now is just phenomenal in it yeah and even none of them even got over 21 goals <laughs> which is is mental uh but yeah we only lost three games one was to stoke i mean the, the three teams i lost stoke bournemouth forest two of them went down yeah. and forest finished in 13th so god knows how i've managed to do that i drew seven games quite a lot of the teams that you'd expect me to couldn't beat bournemouth this whole season uh <laughs> bogey <laughs> team they went down as well hilarious uh, but there we go not a bad season that means i've now overtaken you in this race definitely because yeah. that's another league title under my belt as opposed to two leagues uh, to one league title and a Europa League and obviously that eighth place finish which you keep <laughs> glossing over <laughs> but there we go if I win another trophy here that definitely puts me ahead how have I done <sighs> right I've got one I've got one there but I've all I could have had another one that's maybe so the, annoying maybe the double there for the oh, I was semi, very close to a treble because semi-final semi -final. Semi-final Another Champions English League. team again. Yeah. Uh, we, I lost 3-0 in the first leg. 1-2-0 in the second. That's cost me. And uh, Liverpool won against Real Madrid in the final. So that makes it two in a row for Liverpool there, which is annoying. Three finals in a row as well. Yeah. Uh, the runners up at the FA Cup. I was beat by Brighton. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it who might have just, been who you've just beaten on penalties yeah. in the semi-final as soon as I seen runner up I thought it would be Brighton because I seen that they were qualified for the EU yeah. or UAE but I did win the Carabao Cup and I beat Arsenal in the final of their 2-0 which I think was exactly the same result yeah. but flipped the season before that nice now goals wise 37 from Benjamin Sesco 32 from Rashford 25 from Varane again he's, he's booked his ideas yeah. hasn't he uh, age 33 Liao got 20 with 15 assists Vitor Roque got 17 with 16 assists look at that for Jane Sancho 36 assists he was the top player for your assists actually in the yeah. whole league Absolutely insane. Look at that, yeah. So I've had a very good season there. Yeah. Transfer-wise, I've been given £121 million pound for this final <laughs> season. So they bought it a season ahead, didn't they? Yeah, <laughs> come on, let's go. But I am losing Rafa Varane. Didn't want to sign a new deal, uh, so we'll see. At the end of the day, he's 33, isn't he? So, I mean, if it had been me, I'd have probably been selling him anyway. Yeah. So Fifth and final season. Dad is in second place right now. He needs to catch up. 
How does he do? On. So on the outs, we have Luke Shaw and Rafa Varane leaving from the first team. And yeah. Jose Sa also left because he only had a one-year deal and didn't yeah. want to renew it. Yeah. Uh, so he so wasn't, wasn't happy, which is a shame. Really. Yeah. I'd like to have kept him. So, oh, you know, off you go. Uh, it's one of your club visions at the minute that you can only offer a one-year contract for players over the age of 32, yeah. which is the reason why it was only a one-year deal, uh, unfortunately. Should be able to make an exception for a goalkeeper, though, shouldn't you? Really? Yeah, it's a bit Come of pain on. in the ass, isn't it? Yeah. Really? That, that's the case. But there we go. Uh, Luke Shaw made two signings. Luke Shaw was another one I wanted to get rid of because he was old as well. Yeah. And um, Ran, what was he, 32, 33? 33 now, yeah. He went on, I just didn't want to give him another contract at yeah. that age, so I let him go. And so, the replacement. The defensive was the main area, wasn't it? Yeah, so uh, let's take a look then because you made one big signing, but we'll take a look at the backup goalkeeper first, Yusufu. Yeah. Faris Yusufu, again, it's just going to be a backup for that reason. £8.5 million pound from Schalke. He did play in the Bundesliga 2 last season, uh, conceding 33 and 33, but did get 11 clean sheets. However, Dad went and bought an Arsenal centre back. I do like him. I think he's a good. Controversial. He's a good uh, centre back. Yeah, 95. He wasn't. He wasn't available million. for sale, was he? And when I said to you, can you ever look at him? You, oh, they won't sell him. And he'd been on loan to West Ham for the yeah. season. I thought, yeah. they will sell him. Yeah. If you give him the right price, they'll sell him. That's so. it. The season before it, they have been playing in 26 starts. Yeah. Uh, but last season, he was loaned out, which does make me think I wonder who they have signed because they've obviously been signed, they've obviously been playing Botman by the yeah. looks of it. Uh, and, oh, they've got Antonio Silva as well, who's very good. I Alongside Saliba, you you went and got him. Yeah, I was quite happy with that. Simeone, by the way, is at Arsenal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your mate, yeah, ninety-five million pound though. He has scored two goals already in his first five games. Which there is we quite go. Good. There we go. Tactically, then stays the same, and pretty much the only thing that we're changing is putting Gabriel in every single game. Yeah. How have we been doing so far, though? Well, started off with two draws against Tottenham and Liverpool, two-two. And a 1-1 against Liverpool at home. If I remember rightly as well, both games I was leading as well. Yeah. Um, so I was a bit disappointed with that. Um, Harry Kane dummy in the 51st minute. Look. So, uh, yeah, I was a bit disappointed. But, um, hey yo. Then you, you know, got three wins on the bounce. I didn't, I didn't lose. So that was the main thing. Yeah. Crystal Palace at home. Norwich away. Southampton yeah. at home. Good goal tally as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, your first game in the Champions League, though, is against the current holders, AC Milan. And you've got Real Madrid in there, sprinkled in in the middle. Yeah. But the rest of it, I think you should I'd be fine. I'd be disappointed again. And like you always say, looked at my last two games, I'm at home again. So yeah. I've definitely got to qualify for I that. I think guy. you should be getting top yeah, eight for that, come really. On. There we go. Right, final season then to see how you do in this I league campaign. Just just, I want to get to a final. Yeah. Let me have something to jump about, you know? And to give you a little bit of a behind the scenes of this, we haven't recorded any of my side of it yet. But when we come back to Dad's end of season, we would have seen what I have done yeah. and how I have done. So for a little bit of context right now, we have no idea, either of us, <laughs> what I have done, how I have done, whether this is going to be close, whether one of us has won this by a landslide. But when you next see us, we would have done. Right, okay, let's simulate this fifth season. Well, I actually sold Anthony to Tottenham. I thought you boys really needed a hand. I'll take that. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. there you go. I gave you Anthony. I lost a couple of other players as well. Obviously, Rafa Varane we mentioned, but Kobe Mania was another one that I sold for £17 million to Crystal Palace. But the one, the few transfers I made, I think this was easily my big summer. Ooh. And I waited and I waited because they were both oh, playing had, at the World Cup. You had the Cup. money this time, didn't you? Yeah. I went for De Ligt as a centre-back option after losing Varane. Yeah. World-class centre-back. And I also went for Frankie de Jong Ooh. as a world-class centre midfielder there. Picking him up from Barcelona for £95 million. I think that's definitely one of the world's best midfielders to put in that position after probably Casemiro has now got a little bit too old for me. Yeah. Uh, so it's nice considering you binned him off way before <laughs> uh, to, to say, All right now Casemiro, you know, we've got you a guy who can do the legwork for you and you can you can play the cup games. I've also signed a youngster because obviously we've got loads of strikers and this guy came up and I still had enough budget. So Patreon members, if you do carry it on, let me know how Riots gets on because I think he looks fantastic. To be honest, for five point million pound, wherever I paid for him, looks insane. 18 years of age from Argentina, six foot four. And I thought, Jesus good, Christ, yeah. like 17, 14 heading, 17 I, flare, really good. I think what, when you look at it though, when you look at the, the two signings that I've done and you've done really, it goes to show the age gap between us really. And yeah. it's, it's going to be interesting to watch it as a full video as well because you can see the players that I've gone for are, are or the mainly British players, yeah. But they're, they're sort of the players that are playing really well at the moment, and I, and I know the players really well. Where you've gone for players that you need the knowledge a football of, manager. of football manager, yeah, to, to know what players you want to get, where, you know, what countries they're from, and you know, and and things like that. So I think it's I think it's really good and interesting at the two teams 
Oh, definitely. Different, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. really different. Yeah, definitely. Because you know, the money we, me and you have spent, I mean, I've spent a lot of money as well yeah. as well as you. So you can't say I never had the money. Yeah. I did have the money to spend and I told a lot of players to get that money. But it was interesting with the players, that, especially the players that I really chased as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, the Jude Bellingham, when I really chased him, I really wanted that player. Yeah. Because to me... For it, seasons. Yeah. It was the real one player that I really, really wanted and I got him at the end. Where you were, you were picking players out and I'm, and I'm sat here looking at look him thinking, God, he's a good player. Oh, he's a good player. And I, and I do honestly generally think you've got a good team, really good team. Yeah, yeah, definitely, you know? yeah. So it'd be interesting to see what the, the football manager fans who watch all your videos think of the two teams, really. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, do you think, one. like, Dad's team is more of, like, a classical what a football fan would, would pick? And would you say it's a better looking at it team than what I've picked if it was a real life one? Yeah. Or would you say vice versa? Like, my team would only be better in football manager that's quite an interesting subject i think your team's definitely gonna be better for the patriots patriot members yeah yeah definitely definitely. for them for them to take over your team is by far the better team for that a lot of youngsters yeah i think in there i'm still sticking with the season three tactic i've won the league with it twice obviously but yeah if you look at my like my star players it's like yeah, 23, 26. Definitely, yeah. Like I've, I've, I've kept around quite a few but the, the, That's consistent from you, though, isn't it? From when we do yeah, all our definitely. rebuilds, that you, we always try and build that scene where we're, we're thinking of years ahead. Yeah, where definitely. I, I didn't give a damn. No. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to win this season. No. <laughs> so, how have I done this Oh, look at them greens. The look. Oh, oh greens. dear, I'm in I've trouble. I've even chucked in an 8-2 eight, eight, win. <sighs> 4-0 against Arsenal. 3-0 against Newcastle. 5-1. Come on. It just goes to show this is realistic, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and I only had 10 men. <laughs> so there we go. 2 1 against Chelsea. I didn't. I, I played all difficult teams there. Yeah. Our uh, Champions League games have, have come in. Let's take a look at them as well. PSG, Atalanta, Celtic, Bayern, Inter Milan. That's quite hard. Ajax in the end one there. So yeah, not bad at all. So you're now relying on something big because what I've done is replace two players who weren't that good for me with Frankie de Jong and De Ligt. Yeah. So good luck. Good luck. You really need Final to Final season, pull it here we go. I really need I need to win the Premier League and yeah. the Champions League. Yeah. Let's Just find out how chance. dad does right now. You finished? In second place, it went down. Points. It went down to the last game of the season, didn't it? Man City Must've. had to win the last game of the season. Yeah, and my goal, my goal average was better. They beat Southampton four-one away on yeah. the final day of the season, but you had a fifty-five goal difference there. So if you did, if they did lose, you would have won. That's, they all, they all, they needed was a draw, though. They managed to yeah. do it, unfortunately. Tammy Abraham got twenty-seven goals for you there, but he yeah, was the tight. only one who was around yeah. uh, in the player statistics, which probably he didn't, cost he you. He didn't let fair. me down really over the seasons that I had him there. I, you know, no. I know I stuck with him being in that position, but it was a good signing for me, I think. You only lost one game by more than one goal, which I think was quite a, a, a credit to you. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you win titles, Dan. West Ham, unfortunately. West How Ham. you can save it though is if you win some cup competitions. Come on. This is what need, you need to I need, happen. I put I was all right for the Champions League, wasn't I? That's what I want for. And did you do it? No. Oh, no, no look who I lost against. Trophies. Tottenham in the quarterfinals. <laughs> Why did they beat me? You from winning. Oh, no. Uh, how did they get on in the final? Let's find out. In the final. Oh, it's Arsenal versus Liverpool in the final. So we haven't seen that being played out yet. So they Has actually lost knocked to Arsenal. by Spurs, though. Of North all London teams. derby. How did, how did I get in the other competitions? Uh, semi-final in the oh. FA Cup by Chelsea, which Liverpool beat Chelsea in the final. And the third round of the Carabao Cup by Brighton. I would have took the, the FA Cup. Though. That's my favourite. I love yeah, that cup. Yeah, unfortunately, Dad. 49 goals of a tally that's really yeah, good, good yeah. uh, 27 for Marcus Rashford and Anthony there with a lot of assists fantastic for you I think it's like really I'm, funny now looking on really your felt... team compared to mine <laughs> yeah, I ain't got many players uh, no, we, no we both ain't got as many players because we've stripped it for the money <laughs> obviously but uh, it's just like weird to see how we've built different teams Yeah. but the transfer budget for you Patreon members is £101 million but a massive wage budget so you could probably move up to around about 130 should you wish so on the patreon.com forward slash gaming, you get access to dads but maybe you don't want to have a look at dads <laughs> You want to take over mine because I've built the better side. Let's find out how I've done in my final season 
at Manchester United. Champions again. Three seasons in a row I won the league. Only by 10 points this time round. Yeah, only by 10 <laughs> Only points, by yeah. 10 points, not by the 20 last time. And I didn't have another goal scorer above 20 goals. Uh, even though Haaland got 43, they finished in sixth. That's yeah. mental, isn't it? But I did get a lot of assists again, and I had the highest clean sheet joint with Allison. And somehow the Everton goalkeeper who remember they were they were relegated in the first season they've come back and managed to, to get the most clean sheets in the league fair enough okay but that is fantastic i only lost six games there liverpool leads brighton arsenal blackburn leads again other competitions we know i've already won this kind of rebuild did i manage to do the big one? Oh, joking me <laughs> hey look at you you nearly won everything though yeah. mate you you were one game, one game away from winning everything. From winning oh, a quadruple. Oh my word. One game away. Extra time as well. Against Real Madrid. Extra time against If you were going to put Real money on who would beat you, it would have been oh, Real Madrid, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Ayathabal scored in the 118th minute. Two minutes from going to penalties. And I lose after extra time. I feel more devastated than what I should I'm, be. I'm just thinking to myself now, I've lost. But wow, what a season, mate, for your last yeah, season. Yeah, that is incredible. You know, if it? anybody came out with that, we'd be saying brilliant. And, and I've got to say it to you, mate, that is one hell of a season. The win the Premier League, win the two cups in England, yeah. and almost, well, you've got to the oh, final of the Champions League. So annoying from well the perfect done, season. 6-2 against Liverpool there in the Carabao Cup, FA Cup 4-0 win against West Ham. Yeah, you were just beating everybody for fun, really, weren't you? It got to that point, yeah, because yeah. I think, like, you're like, Sesko scoring more goals than he started games, and, like, the, the substitutes coming off the bench are scoring 20 goals a, a season, so that's going to happen. Because Garnacho came back and scored. Like, I, didn't, yeah. I was not playing Garnacho. I loaned him out a couple of times. I didn't really mention it, but I loaned him out two seasons in a row. In the last two seasons, he's came and he's played. Uh, he started 14 games this season and he scored 16. He's done quite well there. Considering the players that we have, he's, he's started quite a few games. So there we go. I actually, I've got to say it, you put up a bit more of a fight than what I thought you would have. <laughs> considering Football Manager's not a game that you play, no, you I just don't obviously know. watch. Like I said earlier, I, I was just buying players that I knew. I, yeah. couldn't, I haven't got the, the knowledge of chasing other players around. That second I know you season. Helped, you helped me a couple, of, a couple of players where I was saying, well, what's he like? What's that like? But yeah. The one I bought Probably for my birthday because he had the same birthday. Is, yeah, I mean, come on, like he bought a player because he was born on the same day. Ridiculous. <laughs> that second season where you threw a tactic together yeah. after the, the pre-season was awful for you. It was, you couldn't it? get you no, couldn't get it right. No. And then you won the league from it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't understand how that I mean, works, my, but there we go. I think my last season was probably my best season. Yeah, second I place. I think I've got all the players in that I actually wanted. Yeah. And then I really went for it, didn't I? And I, and I, I was unfortunate. I lost the league on the last game of the season. And the Spurs knocking me in the quarter. In the yeah. Uh, the quarter final of semis at the FA Cup yeah. as well by Chelsea that was, that was my big season that was when I was really going for it because I knew you were going to come up with something like that so yeah. I'll take my off to mate you've done well yeah that was but it, very gonna, much enjoyable though wasn't it, it? yeah it was I, I thoroughly enjoyed it I mean it took us a long time to do as you're going to be able to tell probably by our, our face change of views so yeah. our clothes I think I've had an haircut since then as well <laughs> yeah so um but I thoroughly enjoy the days we come down here to do it. We've had a bit of fun, then we a bit of yeah. a laugh. And um, when you were having a good with who you're going to sign him and you're going to sell him. I and mean, Casemiro was probably the biggest. When you sell Casemiro, oh, I, yeah. I almost said we're not going to release yeah. this video. Who, <laughs> for you then, yeah. who was your best signing? I think, oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. If I'm looking at it right now, it's probably Sesco because of the goals he scored. Yeah. Valverde, every season, was very good. Yeah. And he was my second sign-in. Yeah, my second season sign-in. That last season, he got 14 assists. I think he was a bit of a game-changer, yeah. really. And what's quite weird is a little bit behind the curtain is my second pick. In, it, before I knew I could get Valverde, I was going for Ugate. Yeah. Because I seen how cheap he was. And then I was like, oh, hang on. I can go for Valverde if he yeah. wants to come to me. Yeah. And he did. So that's the reason why I went for him. And then the, the third season, when I realized I need another midfielder, that's when I went back and got Ugate. And yeah. he was a little bit more expensive, but still uh, doable. But yeah, I mean, I've still got Casemiro. And he still played five games. He's still quite good. It's just physically, he's a little bit shot now. Yeah. But yeah, I think... I just cashed in on him, didn't I? Yeah. I had to, really. I think my... I actually think my goalkeeper was one of the signings uh, of the series. Because I think your goalkeeper was never a world-class goalkeeper. It was just a reliable one yeah. in Kepa. And that's, that's why I went for it. Because I managed to get him for a good price as well, didn't I? Yeah. You know, and it was... Um, First season as well. I, yeah. I just wanted to get a, 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 a 
good keeper in than I knew would be a reliable keeper, then that, that problem's taken away. Yeah. And I, I bought a couple of reserve keepers you know, during the few seasons that I was there, but yeah. I just got Kepper in. because. Um, but I look, maybe Diogo Costa was my best signing, because if yeah. you look at those, like 16 clean sheets, 15 clean sheets, yeah. 13 clean sheets. And that's what wins titles. Definitely. You know, yeah, they, all, they all say about these keepers. I mean, I've been moaning for years about Larissa and I, yeah. and that... Newcastle game the other day was a prime example. I don't know the team didn't play well, but I thought he been Larice got beaten a couple of times. Where I thought no, a, keep, a, a decent keeper should be saving a couple of them. Yeah, uh, definitely. You know? but, but yeah, um, let us know your thoughts yeah. in the comments section. I'm, what I'm team did go, you enjoy? I'm going to go for Tommy Abraham as my my top. Tommy team. Abraham. Yeah, I, I mean I, I got mean, him. Scored so many goals for you, didn't he? I got him in the first season, didn't I? I think if I remember rightly, and um, yeah, he scored. I and mean, I, I permanently put him in that position as well, didn't I? Because I, yeah. if you remember right, the first season, I, I sort of him and Rashford, I turned turn it around. Like, yeah, and, and if then he I, did and a I quick pick, in. it was putting Rashford yeah. in instead of Tammy, wasn't it? Um, so that's why I put Tammy in every time, didn't I? And, and he didn't let me down, so he, he had to yeah. be he had to be my best signing. But if you were going to say really you know who did you who, who, who was you most pleased about signing and it was going to be Jude, Jude Bellingham yeah. I chased him like you said I, I chased him every season didn't I yeah when it was I, every season it was how much is Jude Bellingham yeah. this year I was like it's the same because it's got a minimum <laughs> few release clause I'm not going to let you get him any cheaper well that season I got him didn't I? I was trying to sell everybody I possibly could just oh, to get yeah. enough money and I just yeah. I knew how much money I needed and I had to get it you would have sold my mum for him <laughs> That's, yeah she would have been gone uh, that would have been it and my sister they, they would be, they be the first time I've sold yeah. him or something the, gra <laughs> the grandkids would have been gone and everything yeah. just to get Drew Bellingham in the door but I'm, I'm going to say this now you by far the best met you that was the best I think out of all our rebuilds that's the best you've ever done it might be it could be to be fair to win yeah, nearly yeah. everything then it's yeah. got to be the best you've done yeah. so you had to come up with your best yeah. to beat and do you know right a little me. bit again behind the curtain I didn't know how I did until no, I didn't. recorded this no he didn't uh, because I simulated it and then put my child to bed <laughs> and then saved it without actually without going into the actual competition screen went downstairs and dad went how did you get on then I went oh I don't know <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't actually know until I recorded it uh, until we recorded it so that's fantastic so the next question is yeah I'm going to do something a little bit different here. You can do the challenge. You, you're right. the top man here. You do the challenge. What's the challenge for our, our um, guys to take over our teams? A challenge then, if you take over dads, you've got to beat what I have done in dads rebuild. Ooh, that's going to be hard. So I've won three league titles. Yeah. A ch no, I didn't win a Champions League. I won three league titles, an FA Cup a and Carabao two Cup. Carabao Cups. Yeah. Can you do better than that? And if you go in a Champions hard. League, that's really good. That's hard, yeah. That is hard, but you've got an yeah. incredible team there. I would, I would say, if you win the Champions League, that's got to be better than. Definitely, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think a Champions that, League counts as like at least two league yeah, titles, really, yeah. isn't it? Uh, that's going to be hard. Winning three the league money titles. Money on mine, by the way, is 145 million, so it's still good, but not yeah. amazing. But so what's the challenge? If they take over your team. If you take over mine, I think. I mean, to be fair, it's only one thing they can do, really. Isn't it? Yeah, Champions League. It's got to yeah. be, to be fair, isn't it? Yeah. I was so close to it. Try and get that Champions League win. But have fun with it. Uh, let us know how you do, of course. Yeah, come on. Have a go at it and let us know how you get on. It's, it's, we had so much fun. See if you can have fun with it as yeah. well. Yeah, and as you know, obviously this took ages to do. So by all means, suggestions in the comments of what you do want to see. But don't bombard us with, you got to do this next. You got Because it does take ages yeah. for us to record. It took us so, over a month to do uh, this. If you want to see more like this and the 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 the, the, the what the, the reception of it is, is amazing. You know, it does great for views and you... You, you guys engage with it really well we're smashing the like button leaving those comments then by all means we will start another one uh, but we need obviously a good idea to do and we need time to do it yeah. so let us know down in the comment section not that thank we won't you very do because we've enjoyed we've had so much fun doing it haven't we? absolutely yeah. yeah it's just time to do it so yeah by, by all means let us know in the comments we'll see you next Monday for a bit more of a standard rebuild but for now we'll see you soon for another one bye bye